Lovely Legionnaires, how are we doing this morning? Ugh. Oh, I awaken. Hello, hello, hello. You may, Big Mac. Ah! Sleppy. Uh. Huh? They know Yuri means it's about lesbians, right? <sighs> idiots. Absolute idiots. Unfucking believable. all doing this morning tired same big same Lucas hey, Luke. baby boy what's today's prompt Today's prompt is bites. Bite. Spicy buffalo chicken. Spicy buffalo chicken. She looks more round. Did you check your time lapse? No, thank you though. I will do that now. I did. I did it. It's good. I, I can see in the back of the chat. That's... Oh boy, howdy, some cognitive dissonance. Love that. Love that for us. Why is there LGBT themes in my Yuri anime? I, uh, homie, I don't know. Why is there LGBT themes in my fucking anime about lesbians? Oh, 
I don't know, maybe because there's lesbians in it. There just might be lesbians in it. Oh, she's chirping at the birds. Hell yeah. Good for her. Green Yowie is very far removed from what actual queer people experience. It's like, but we're boys and girls. That's true. It's still gay, though. Even if it's not great gay, it's still... It's still the homosexual. It's why I like uh, stuff like Licorice Recoil and which from Mercury. I also like, I've talked about this before, like I'm not a big fan of like romance manga in general, like queer or otherwise. I just think it's boring. <laughs> Area A romantic is like, hey, uh, like what else is there? I don't really care. Me, as me, as someone who is a hopeless romantic, like, I'm also kind of in the same boat. I don't think you'll ever catch me just reading a romance. There's gotta be other stuff going on. Why do you and Susie happen to stream around the same time? Normally I don't. Uh, typically I stream, uh at around 1, but I've been doing these in the morning instead, because I was supposed to be doing two streams a day. But I'm currently not doing that, so I'm just doing my morning streams, because I don't want to f I want to- the goal is to, uh, to form a habit. For me to wake up and- And not- and not kill yourself with, uh, symptoms disease. And not kill myself with symptoms disease. But the, uh, Part of the goal here is to form, um, is to form a habit of doing my, like, challenge videos first thing in the morning, to, like, work on my challenge art. Because I like doing challenges, and I'd like to do more of them. I'm going to do, um... I'm going to do Hue-vember next month. I'll probably, uh... In fact, what I'll probably end up doing is combining... Uh... Gortober and... Well, no, maybe I'll make them two separate videos. I don't know. I haven't said it yet. I don't know what I want to talk about in the Gortober video just as of the minute. Maybe I'll do what I did for Mermaid. Color prompt thing? Yeah! You get a different color every day. Gotta do... For Hugh Vember, I'm gonna do a bunch of fan art. Cause I don't get a really an opportunity to do a lot of fan art. So I wanna I wanna do that more. I wanna work on translating other designs into my style, I feel like. I feel like that's something I can always benefit from. Now the romance 
this genre can get a little repetitive. I kind of just want more, like... I like, I'm more about adding romance uh, I like adding the spice of romance to other genres personally. Do you think that love can bloom on the battlefield? I do, it's one of my favorite genres of romance. As a matter of mcfucking fact. why it's why uh david and and uh hal are peak factually correct hal really went i always strike out with girls because i am cursed uh i will and choose to instead date Man. Men instead. <laughs> oh man, I always, I have so many problems with girls. Maybe I should try men. David knocks a chair over trying to lean on it. David's totally one of those people that's like, wait, you mean we weren't already dating? How? <laughs> How? The love of my life. We've been married for 20 years now. What? I will love that Tumblr post forever and ever. I felt, is it gay to like, be two men and raise a child together? Yeah, I'd say that's pretty gay. Good, I'm glad we can agree that Nick and Otacon are married. Some gay ass gay men, I don't know what to tell you. I saw one of my like new favorite fucking TikToks as well. Uh it was a a queer a queer lady was uh talking about getting into one piece and somebody left a comment. I was like, we don't need your kind reading One Piece. Don't want it, our fandom corrupted by you fucking LGBT freaks. And she's like... Are we reading the same manga? Luffy is our- Luffy our king is arrow ace coded. Uh, Iva and Bonclay are here. Like... Well, Iva, Bonclay, God. one of the- there's a giant who's trans femme. Like, what the fuck are you- Yamato! Yamato? Hello? Nami's gay. No, Nami's gay. Nami likes women. Nami has- Nami has no interest in men except what they can provide for her financially. That's about it. That's a gay-ass woman. That's a lesbian if I've ever fucking seen one. She rizzes all the princesses. It's why she had to- it's why she couldn't stick around for Dress Rosa. We could not afford for her to- for her to riz up Rebecca too. Nami- uh, Vivi, her wife. I feel like Nami's the type that's like, oh, I I only married Vivi for her money, but is actually like, I love you, BB, smooch, 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 smooch. 100%, like, I married her for her money. I'm a gold digger. And then Vivi just, like, she says as a joke, and then Vivi just, like, wells up and is like, you did? And then she's like, it's a joke! It's a joke! I was joking!
What do they prom? Today's prompt is bites. Bad. Why? <laughs> Who he bad? He binned it. He bad. Okay. <laughs> he is werewolf. The werewolf man. The wolf man. <laughs> oh, I got the burpees. Fuck. I feel like Robin is very demi in the sense that she needs to trust somebody completely values intellectual stimulation. Frankie, on the other hand, is a raging cyborg bisexual brother. I've been having sex with men longer than you've been alive! I feel like... Actually, I feel like... Frankie is a very supportive straight man. In that, I feel like he's like, you know, Oh no, you're right. Like, no. He's like, no, queer people deserve rights. I would know. I've I've kissed a man once. <laughs> yeah, I fucking I I hate the fucking like it gets me every time that motherfuckers really will be like, no, Yamato Yamato is woman. And it's like, no. Uh there's explicitly a whole point made about the fact that Yamato bathes with the men. And is a man, and is referred to as a brother. But you don't understand, Heaton. I am attracted to her, and I'm a straight guy. She's. It's, it, there's no way that they're a guy, because I want to fuck her. Then you like fat bussy. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> cope, cope with the fact that you want his boy pussy. I don't know what to tell you. Cope, Seath, mauled even. <laughs> get, get started was redeemed by Big Mac. Can you go off I am, people complaining? I am, I am started. I'm getting started. Okay. I fucking- I hate that shit. Cause like, as well, the, the thing that I hate about this is that motherfuckers are so ready. They do it all the time and it fucking pisses me off. Is because they'll be like, oh well we're not- like, we're not denying that Kiku is trans. And I'm like, no, because Kiku passes. Hey, baby. That's why. You don't give a shit because Kiku passes as a woman. So, you, so that's why you don't give a shit about whether or not she's trans. It's why you don't give a shit about Iva. Is because Iva is your cartoonish like depiction of what you think a trans man. Or what do you think a fucking trans woman is? So you don't give a shit about Iva. But when you want to talk about people like um, oh god, what was the name? What's the name of the giant who's trans? She's with the Revolutionary Army, I think. I'm not that far to know her, so I don't- I, But they I, talk I shit about her, her, too! And they're like, oh, fuck it. It's like, no! It's because you don't give a shit about her or about fucking Yamato because they don't pass! You think Yamato's a woman because Yamato is fat fucking daddy milkers. Morally, thank you. <laughs> uh... But because you wanna- because you wanna fondle Yamato's big trans man titties, you don't fucking- You don't perceive him as a man, and that's fucking stupid. And they're like, oh, well fucking- is because- wants to be like Odin. Yeah, I figured out I was trans because I discovered I wanted to be Talos and Jaffe. I wanted to eat his gender, and I was like, damn, that's it, there it is. Same cucks I, that leave the most um, rancid comments on scenes with Ace and Yamato, which is fucking cringe. Ace is bi. I have found a startling amount of individuals who were born cis have found that they were trans through, um... Men-loving men content. Yeah. Welcome to it. Because I was like, like, why are you, wh why do you, why do you read this stuff? I was like, oh, because it's nice to see men in both positions where it's like you can imagine yourself as the dominant or the submissive and it's like you're not supposed to imagine yourself as one of the men to find it appealing and i'm like you're not <laughs> you're telling me you don't want to dominate a man <laughs> oh my favorite bit is the we've talked about this repeatedly we've talked repeatedly about uh the fucking Fujoshi to trans man pipeline.
Look, I I didn't know that you weren't supposed to be like, oh yeah, it's appealing because you get to see men in both. I know people are like, oh, it's heteronormative, but it's nice to see men in an effeminate role and then see them in a masculine role and then seeing them switch sometimes. Mm -hmm. But apparently that's not why people, like people who fetishize it, watch it. <laughs> Or no, it's it. because hee hee, men kissing, sinning, ooh woo. Gross. I, I just, I, it's nice to see men in more feminine roles and then combat that to me. It's it's intriguing. And then there's me, the strangely fascinated by yaoi to non binary lesbian pipeline. It's true. It's like, oh. That's why I ended up gender fluid. It's like, I want to be in dresses, but I also want people to refer to me as a he. <laughs> I want to be masculine in the same way that people perceive K-pop boys as masculine. I, I want to be pretty in a boy way. My big awakening I'm was, the uh... Biggest girl at the <laughs> my big awakening was the notion of, like... No, I want to be feminine in the way that, like, men are feminine. And then my friends looked at me and went, not normal. And I'm like, oh. I think you did the same thing to me when we were talking about, because you knew me before I identified the way that I do now. I... And that, oh, like this, this, and that. And it's like, Nezzy, Nezzy. Nezzy, I can't wait to impart to you the knowledge I've learned, Nezzy. <laughs> Nezzy. I think you might want to consider, take some things into consideration. This is, this is the same reason why I find like women with women intriguing. It's just like, like I said before, I know people are like, oh, it's heteronormative. But a part of me is intrigued by it because you get to see men and women in both opposite positions that you don't usually see them as mm -hmm. because it's seen as a negative trait. Like, I like seeing feminine men and I like seeing masculine women. Same -sies. Same -sies. It's like, yeah, it's cheesy where it's like that fucking with the deuce audio from TikTok where it's like, no deuce, and you, I told you to tell me when you leave the bathroom before you leave the bathroom. It's like, yeah, it gets cheesy, but it's fun. Yeah, uh, Big Mac was talking about, uh, he saw a comment on an episode of, uh, I'm in love with the villainess, where they're like, I can't believe that my fucking Yuri anime has all this fucking LGBT propaganda in it. <laughs> my, my brother in Christ. You mean to tell me that Sekai Ichi Hatsukoi has a bunch of gay propaganda in it? There's fucking gays in here! Yuri on ice? <laughs> Junjo Romantica? Why are there a bunch of gays here? I never want to think That's about Junjo Romantica ever fucking again! <laughs> Look, it has a soft spot in my heart. But, like, that that's how you know. That's how you know when it's fetishizing. Because they don't stay for the angst. No, they don't care. Like, when they get into a serious conversation of, like, hey, um, we- I don't know if we can continue this because of this, this, and that. Like, they don't find intrigue in that. Because they don't care. They just want to see the sex. Luke is the definition of a himbo, yes. Also, like I said, Sekaiichi Hatsuko and Jinjuro Magica, as problematic as they are, holds a very special place in my heart. <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. Well, just like you with, with what was it called? Loveless? Oh, I don't like Loveless! <laughs> no, my my uh, token problematic uh, yaoi from my youth is Gravitation. I feel like I've heard of that, but I can't think of it. I will say my You redeeming, super have my if you redeeming, if you see a picture of the main characters, you'll you'll remember. I will say that my redeeming one was looking into fake. Yeah 
because I remember I took a photo of my bookshelf. I don't remember why, but Dio saw, I was like, I see you have uh, the whole series of fake on your shelf. I'm like, yeah, I managed to find them all in English on eBay. It was really difficult. And he was like, fake is so good. I also saw the movie. I think I have the movie on my 3D. <laughs> the OVA is great. I wish they would have gone further with it. I wish they'd have adapted the whole fucking thing. I want to watch my procedural cop drama where the buddy cops kiss. And you, they make you work for it. They make you work for that kiss. They do! They're fucking... They, like, that's how you know that it's the good shit. It's because, like, Rio has his whole, like, oh my god, I like men. And fucking D is there every step of the way to be like, yes, I want you to discover this comfortably. And the fucking, the thing that revolutionized it for me, that was like, this is my favorite, like this is my favorite BL, and spoilers, it still is, uh, was the moment that like, Rio like has his little breakdown and just kind of throws himself at Deed. He's like, I don't care. And he's just crying and he's like, I don't care anymore. Just do whatever you want. I don't I don't want to think about this anymore. And D, who like constantly does his little teases of like, oh Rio, kiss me. Like he very, very Sanji vibes, right? Where it's mm -hmm. where it's clearly a bit. And he's like, no, just he do it. Leaves. And he's like, just do it. And and fucking D goes, no. And he's like, why not? And he goes, listen, I want this. I want our first time together to be fun for us both. If you're not enjoying it and you're emotionally compromised, then that's not what I want. I want you to be here because you want to be here, not because you're exasperated and you want to please me. If you don't I, want I this, want then it's not fun. Me. I want you to want me just like, so I'm not going to take advantage of you when you're emotionally compromised. And I'm like, <gasps> oh my God. He's based. He's based. <laughs> Respect. Boundaries. A loving embrace. <laughs> also, uh, hello. This was a yaoi manga that came out in the 90s where uh, two New York City cops adopt, their, adopt a biracial child. <laughs> that is also, like, kind of... Hey, baby doll. It's... Uh, from what I remember, it's not 100% oh cool what gender they are. I'm pretty sure they're a boy. Vicky's, but, like, uh, Vicky's mask. They... Oh! Yeah. 25 more what? gifted subs! Yay! We're at 275. We're at 275. Oh my goodness, holy shit, thank you, thank you! 25 five more and we hit Rule of Rose. Well, 25, Ooh. 25 more and... I'm out of extended stretch goals. <laughs> you want to try to come up with more stretch goals? Uh, we get five more. We get rule of ropes. Oh boy. Um, hang on. Let me. I'll go feed the. I'll go feed the chicken in a second. Give me. Give me a second. So this means that you get your slasher pinup series. Ooh. This is the wrong brush. There we go. You get this. You get your slasher pinups, and it also means that we will be doing do. a stream where I will be designing a little mascot horror guy. I want to try to do a subathon. I just worry that nothing's gonna happen, so I set up all this stuff, and then I get reminded that no one likes me. I like you. Thank you. So our last three goals. For right now, are that I play Rule of Rose, uh, that I play every Silent Hill game. That will be our Silent Hillathon. Uh, and then 300 will be that I draw a Slender House, that I draw a Slender Mansion fan art. Ooh. Ooh. What number did I get for tight, tight ass and tight pants video? 500. Yeah, true. I want to be there when you play FNAF. I will definitely have you here when I play FNAF. Yay! <laughs> I'm using that clip for the FNAF video, by the way, the one where it's, uh... <laughs> it all started at Fred Bear's Family Diner. It all started at Fred Bear's Family Diner. At Fred Bear. Fred Bear, 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 F
Boob doodle for a little D. Fib biddle and babies. Fibble diddle diddle D. I already got some of the editing for that planned. Like what I want to do for the intro. I might give it to Caden to fully edit though. I was gonna say, <laughs> depending on your reason, I would say maybe. Because like if you wanted Nezi to be Yamato because trans, that's one thing. However, comma, having read the manga. I see where he's coming from. You would be a very good Yamato. You and Yamato have very similar energy. <laughs> oh, would I? Yeah, I think so. Yay. Look, I, I've said this before. I want to be pretty in a boy way and then handsome in a woman way. Ve yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Fucking... Just, just like, I... I... <laughs> I, I remember when I was like sitting there, I was like, am I a trans man? I don't know if I'm a trans man. And I thought about it, it's like, I don't want to, I know that you don't, like, if you, you if you are trans, you don't have to take like hormones or have surgery. But I thought about it, I was like, I really don't want to get rid of my tits. I want to keep those. <laughs> I like my tibbies. I like my tipple builds. Make SMP angst, say hello, and now I slept. Enjoy your night, kids. Goodbye, Mally! Good, take sleep! Bye, Mally! Gooseberry. Um. But no, yeah, if I read the manga or watched the anime, I'm pretty sure I would vibe with Yamato. Yeah, I was gonna say, depending on your initial reason, perhaps, but like. Yeah, I can see it. I, wish I, could I don't know what the fuck I am, but I'm probably not sis. Rick is learning things. This is what happens. <laughs> this is the trans agenda. Look, I may be somewhere on the gender fluid spectrum. I'm not sure. You could be a demi girl. Maybe? I don't know. Cause like, we were watching the Beard Brothers, right? On the- on- <laughs> on- on the YouTube. I tr- I'm trust sorry. me? Uh, this this no, tangent no. is relevant to my point. No, it's just the way that you said it that made me laugh. The Beard Brothers. <laughs> the Super Beard Brothers. Gerard Khalil, mm. Alex Faciani, Brett Bayon. Um, they were talking about if you could um, become a character uh, and get their shit, like who would you become and like you, you basically take over their life and there were talks of like batman superman spider-man ash ketchum right mm -hmm. some pretty mm -hmm. for some pretty standard uh uh options my gut instinct uh was uh my oc who's got magic and is gender fluid and changes their gender on whim is so, it bad uh, that one of my thoughts was either Deadpool go. or Will Graham? Uh, Deadpool, no. Will Graham get therapy. <laughs> and like, a real one! Like, a real therapist! But, uh, yeah, when my gut react- and then I was just like, well, and I was like, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, Amelia, and Justin was like, you want to be gender fluid? I just want- I want to be my VTuber avatar. I was like, I could be a shapeshifter and a little mouse guy that lives in people's walls? Fuck yeah. I wish to be a mouse. I wish to not be human. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> If I had the ability, I would immediately go to Heaton's house, make myself a little den, and then wake her up with a, a tin full of muffins made with bottle caps. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Him because he's a wizard, and I was like, there's lots of magic options, and you chose the gender fluid one. It's true. Careful, people are going to accuse Heaton of grooming their autistic roommate to being trans. Yeah, I'm a victim of the trans agenda. Uh, I blame Heat Mitsuro. I'm gonna cancel her on Twitter.com. No, not on Twitter.com. <laughs> on Twitter.com, motherfucker. No. Or no X, which is fucking stupid. <laughs> I'll respect Twitter's new name when he respects his fucking daughter's name. It's true.
X is so fucking dumb. And there's a lawsuit. <laughs> Everything about it just because looks like a porn website now. It does! <laughs> This reminds me of when I accidentally said X hamster instead of space hamster. No! <laughs> I didn't realize it until Ellie pointed it out and I felt really embarrassed. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> That's so fucking so embarrassing. <laughs> Did you know that there is a website in which you can watch rodents do extreme sports uh, as live Don't streams? Do this, Eden. If you're interested, look up X Hipster. Don't do this, Heat. I hope you have your things with 18 plus. I do. I always do. Okay. Okay. No We're children! I don't want children in my community! Get your icky fucking hands off. Get no babies in my away. community, I refuse! I need to fix my Discord server to have that thing where it's like, you agree to these rules, click on the emote. I wonder how to do that. I want to be clear, by the way, my server does not have any NSFW things in there because I just, I don't want like sexual or like gore in there. Neither does mine. It's mine. My server is eighteen plus purely again because I, my community is eighteen plus. I occasionally make adult I content. Just... I tell adult jokes. I talk about gore and violence. Like it's just I don't. This is not a space for children. I just never really think about it because it's like kids shouldn't be watching my content to begin with. Yeah, exactly. So I, I don't think about it like that. It's like you shouldn't be here to begin with. So why are you here? <laughs> it's partly why, like, I've kind of been like. I've been back and forthing on a couple of things in relation to the Urban Spook video. Where I'm like, how much of this do I want to censor? And I'm like, you know what? There's certain words I want to censor, but, like, not in a meaningful way, really. Like, I just, like, my content's not for fucking kids, so if it gets age-restricted, I don't particularly care. We will feed the chimkin. I'm just finishing up my, my doodle for the day, so just give me a second to... Put it in the thing. Area chicken correspondent is working. I need to finish those fucking commissions. I keep forgetting and then drawing something else. <laughs> and then I need to reopen them so I can make a demoni because I spent a lot on my parents' Christmas presents. I am going to try and take today to work on some stuff that needs to get worked on, so that way when November hits, I can just start working on scripted content. I am- oh, I, I see that you are also a part of the club of, uh, I either know several months in advance or not at all. Yeah. For gifts, Nezzy? Well, part of it's because, uh, they're custom, in a way, so I had to order in advance, and they're also from America, so I don't want to risk it coming late. But that does not excuse the fact that I often wishlist things that I think people might like in the chance that I'm going to buy it for them at one point in time. When either they visit me, or they live here, or I visit them, and I need something. I'm a firm believer in I will get you something either late or early, depend because I would rather, like... I'd rather be like, this is your present for X event when I find something that you will like. <laughs> Don't tell this to Avi, but a lot of the things that I've found are Germa related. I have done my picture for the day. I am getting up, I'm going to put on my shoes, and we are going to feed the Jimkin. 
the one Go thing the uh i was gonna say the one thing that i ordered that i expected to be here by now but we have not gotten is our fucking shlanket yeah, what? where's the fucking blanket? The what? <laughs> Our blanket. What the hell is a blanket? It's a. It is a large fleece blanket with uh, tiled photos of Jay Schlatt's face printed on it. Oh what? Shut the fuck up! I don't have time for this this morning. The we okay. put our we put the weighted blanket on the bed. At our feet, and so now I've just been cozy, and so now I've I've super not wanted to get out of bed, which is bad because one, this one will annoy me and scratch the bed when she shouldn't, and also I need to take my medication at the same time every day. Go oh, take your meds. I already took my meds. Good. Are you still working on them? I am not working on them at a given minute because I have so much shit I have to do in regards to the subathon, but I'll probably get back to them in November. I'm sorry for the people who have, like, put their names on the list and then have not, like, seen a response in a while. This is why I have my commission set up the whack way that I do, is so that you don't pay me and then have to wait months because I get slammed and executive dysfunction shuts the fuck down. I love executive dysfunction. It happens pretty much always when I have college. See, my, my autism masked my ADHD, which is why I was able to thrive in school, because there were rigid there were rigid schedules that I had to adhere to. I still procrastinate like a motherfucker, mind you. Uh, but, uh... I was able to get my shit done. I remember being the gifted kid. Now look at me. I wanna die. Hey, Bell. Let me know when we're ready. Hang on. She is a spicy buffalo chicken this morning. She looks rounder, which is surprising considering how many feathers she's shed. It's true. <laughs> I just got a flashback to when you were playing the Resident good. Evil game. <laughs> and there's like a moment where I go, a chicken, and you immediately shot it. <laughs> uh, are, wait, are yeah, we good? You're good. Toss him in. Okay. She's gonna open it, and since she can't see it, boop. Hello, Chimkin. And Yorita. And Yorita. She's gotten rounder. Oh, I'm... she just zooped it up because they're not as frozen because her thing is sus. Her clock has gotten so deep. I remember when you used to peep. That was only you. That was that was back in that was back in May. You did only used to peep, but now you no longer cheap. I forgot that that's how long you've had the chicken. Yeah. Jesus Christ. We it's forget. It's really been a year. We forget too. No, it, it, it's been like not quite. It's been a few months, like four or five months. No, 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 I mean, I mean, like it's been almost a year since twenty. 22. Oh, yeah. Like, it's almost 2024, and I... Uh... Thank you, chicken correspondent. You're welcome. Such a pretty little bird. Goodbye, Chimkin. Did you not give it a name yet? Penurita! Oh, her name is Penurita. We just sometimes just uh, call her the chicken. chicken. Like, we refer to Gigi as the cat. We have also, uh... You may catch this as well, because, like, I it just occurred to me that, like, people might not know why we say this. But when she's, like, being naughty, or when she's, like, has a lot of energy, we've been referring to her as the spicy buffalo chicken. Why? She'll jump. Because it's funny. Hey, baby doll. 
It it just makes sense in my brain. Oh, she's oh, oh she's popping, not getting up. No, ah! The cat wants to play, and she no, my feet are not toys. No, I'm gonna hoist you. Oh, no, you thought, too. you fucking thought, you fucking thought you could get my legs. It is playtime, so it mumber. You do not fight, you do not pop bap up my legs. Every ten every increment of ten, so at five more subs, you'll you'll get the chicken will get another treat. Here, how here's you your in, Pokemon mail in this. How do you put an image in a grayscale in Clip Studio Paint? Uh right here. Expression color preview. You just gray. Okay. Thank it's you. been really helpful for this challenge. It's been really helpful for the aesthetic I wanted of this challenge. Maybe I'll try the, the Tober, Tober thing next year. I always just, I get in my head a lot, so I get scared a lot. I typically do OC October, but I wanted to try Gortober this year. Now, is it a matter of like trying to do a finished piece every day, or is it the prompts that like, oh, you get spooked by them? It's doing a prompt every day. So, uh, what I've been doing, I've just been doing clean s sketches and colored them one solid color because like. I always frequently, like when I try to do it, I get super burnt out, and um, like I always feel like there's way more bad ones than good ones. Like I'm just pooping it out, so I've reduced to the level of finish it needs to be, and it's helped a lot. At the same time, I'm trying to fix what I've been doing ever since I was a kid in that I, I tend to work too fast because I want it to be done rather than focusing on the process like I should. Also, big understandable. It's like, I really want to see the end product. I want to see it. It's like, but you need to, you need to finish it. It's like, but I... <laughs> Fine, I'll finish it! Then I do it too fast, like it doesn't look nearly as good as it could've if I slowed down. I think it's most prominent in my shading, in my lighting, in my backgrounds. And my everything. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Oh, it's because I've. I'm just dumb. It's fine. Don't worry. You're about wrong, me. layer woman. Well, it was A that it was on the wrong layer, and then it's B that it was. I had transparent selected, so I was like, why the fuck does it keep erasing no matter what I do? And I'm like, oh, I'm just dumb. That's how I feel. <laughs> I've done that a couple times. <laughs> or I just- I forget that I have the eraser tool on. <laughs> so why is it working? Oh. <laughs> Excited to try uh Huevember. Cause I have I have Huvember? an idea Yeah, I have an idea of what I want to um of how I want the pieces to like the kind because I like to 
Uh, I'm the kind of person who likes to have, like, a through line. Like, I like to have all of the pieces from that particular challenge at least have some kind of uniformity. What is Huvember? Uh, you draw with a different color every day. Mm. <clears throat> so your only prompt is a color wheel. It's like, this is the color you have to use today, this is the color you have to use tomorrow. But like I said, I want to do a bunch of fan art. But I have... I have the idea for, like, the style of the compositions I want in my head. And I think that's gonna be really fun. I forgot to ask! Did you get the thing? Did you get the thing from the FNAF movie? The, the merch that they have for the FNAF movie? It's not out yet. <laughs> the movie, it's for Mom. It's for theater releases in the they're not it's not out in theaters yet. <laughs> I promise to try. Okay. I don't have an AMC theater near us, though, which sucks. I got excited. I'm not gonna be able to watch it in theaters, yeah, so I gotta wait for it to come to me. <laughs> wait for it to come out in Pirates. I've played- I've watched a playthrough of Deadly Premonition, if that counts. Huh? I was asked if I've seen Twin Peaks. Oh. We don't have an AMC. We don't have we don't have one of the AMCs that does the that does the fucking promo shit. I've looked it up. What? I gotta I gotta text Lucy. <laughs> I think you can order them online though. I'm gonna check. If we can order them online, I'll order one for you. But I don't know if we can. <gasps> Yay! I was a little worried about, like, the accent colors I was going to use for this, but I think it'll be fine, actually. His color palette's just so limited that it's going to come off a lot weirder than it actually is. <clears throat> I think it'll be fine, though. Oh, what? Oh, they're doing the cool popcorn buckets again. And they also have tumblers. I will wait for it to come out onto the, um, the little universe thing on Steam, and I will watch it with my Freddy Faber mug, where I drink out of Freddy Faber head, with my, uh, with my plushie of Lefty. Is I uh, that or wait for Netflix? Is uh Glamrock Freddy is he your favorite? No. Who is your favorite? I actually had an interesting conversation about this with Susie, in that um, I was like, hey, can you guess my favorite uh, FNAF character? And she was like, oh, it's easy, it's Glamrock Freddy. And I said, no. And she was like, what? It's like, yeah, that's not. You want to take a crack at guessing? I feel... I feel like you're a Bonnie fan. I do love Bonnie, but no. Hmm. Baby? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm curious. If I did have to pick a favorite Bonnie, it would be Toy Bonnie, though. I love their art. But it's not Bonnie. Is it Lefty? Yeah. Huh. 
lefty is my favorite. Explain. Look at how fucking stupid he looks. <laughs> Fair enough. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know. It, he has a color palette that I like. He's very prominent to the lore in that the marinette is inside of him uh, so that they could burn within the building in the sixth game, in the pizzeria. And Lefty's like got that goofy looking eye. So he's a, a little bit, he's a little bit wonky just like me. And I, I love him. I love Lefty. Understandable. I always have fun with that question because everybody is like, oh, it's Glamrock Freddy. Oh, it's Montgomery Gator. Oh, it's Toy Bonnie. It's like, no, bitch. It is this case in which I am not Fazfucker69. <laughs> I put down my Freddy Fazfucker mask. It's not because of the horny, it's because of the wholesome. And I read that for the plot, you sicko. You fucking perverts. Even then, when it comes to Glamrock Freddy, it's... It, it's like, I really want to hug him, but I would let someone else fuck him. He is just a big dog. He is! He calls me Superstar! And then you got the audio where he calls me Superstar! It made me really happy! And let's do it sometimes. <laughs> I knew you would appreciate it. I did. And I love it. It's like the audio where it's like, oh, what a cute character. Time to draw him getting pegged. Where it's like, I love him. I truly do. I want to cuddle him, but I, I also would let him get absolutely railed by Montgomery Gator. <laughs> and I know people are gonna be like, stop shipping the Snap animatronics, blah blah blah. Matt Pat got pregnant by a zip file from Springtrap. I can do what I fucking want. No heart. <laughs> Listen, I'm in- I'm in a very similar club. Motherfuckers really do be out here like, Yamato and Ace interacted once! Shhh. They're boyfriends. Oh, but they're animatronics, they can't feel! And then they show, like, the Bonnie clip, and like, look how sad he is! It's like, oh! Now it matters! I will forever bring that up, by the way. It's like, oh, the animatronics, they can't feel love. Matt Pat has a fucking baby with Springtrap through basic malware. Shut the fuck up. I love that it took as the long as it did for baby, Matt Pat to have to talk about it. That was really fucking funny. The little fucking baby literally calls him daddy and then fucks off. Hey, hey, Scott, what the fuck? I don't know, man. When it came to, like, the books, I feel like Scott was like, I can do whatever I want right now. I'm just gonna fucking read these. I can do whatever I want. I was like, I have, you know what? Mad respect to him for that. Where it's like, I can just do whatever the fuck I want. I, I don't care. And he does add lore bits. Like, there are important lore bits to learn more about the story. Um, but at the same time, the uh, uh, spring trap having human teeth is not necessary for me. Yeah. Also, this is like a lot of death, yo. There's so much death. It's like, it, it's you know, like goosebumps where it's always like, oh, it's kind of a secret whether or not the kids made it out or whatever it has like a very ambiguous ending no a bunch of kids just fucking die one of them gets torn to shreds by being put into a spring lock system oh yeah it had a, it had a separate it had its own intro cover but they had to remove it because it was too graphic can't have that at the fucking scholastic book fair <laughs> I missed that. 
Scholastic Book Fair was like Target for children. It's true. Yes! Nice Get into D&D! &D. Get into Dungeons and I'm Dragons! Trying. Get into Dungeons and Dragons! I'm trying, but you're always busy. I, I've always feel bad about asking to join a campaign. Emma's talking about getting into D&D. &D. Get into D&D! &D. The joke's you on you, Justin! Emma's already you. transgender! What? Justin's making the joke of the be transgender. Be no. transgender. It's too late for us. Yeah, I'm trying to get D &D. more D and D, but you need to help me with the chart for Honeydew, and I always feel bad about asking if I can join a campaign because I don't know what I'm doing, and it makes me feel like I'm shoving myself into everybody else's business. No, shut up! <laughs> I want you to play. I want to play too. Your account. You're not inviting more. yourself if I invite you, bitch. <laughs> Get invited, fucker. I have my own dice. Okay, so now we add the blood. The blood. So we're gonna try the fun technique. That Nezzy gave us. And we're gonna do this part first. Because I want this sort of general, like. And then we do what Nezzy taught us. Uh oh. We're gonna there we finger go. his face. She's very round, very floof. She is very floof. You still need her. And then I wanna just. We'll probably have to move her poop. And then if we just soften the edges a little bit. Oh, look at that shit! Look how good that fucking looks! Goose job. Gooseberry. Gooseberry. I'm very proud. I love that fingertip tool. It's really great if you want to draw smeared makeup. Yeah, it was useful. Yay! You were so useful. It's so helpful. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's cheery. It's not. It's cheery. Yeah. <laughs> Like when you when you win it's a VR game. Sharper. Do you need help with it too? Okay. And again, we just soften up our edges a little bit. Make them a little less. <laughs> make some of those divides a little less sharp. Look at that shit! Fuck yeah, baby! Hang on. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> Don't stain his clothes. That's a different effect that we're gonna do. I like to use the tapered pen for that. Oops. Tapered pen is really great for making, like, huge splats. If you want that, what we gotta do is... <laughs> oh, wait, we don't want it on the liner we want in here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Just a little so that it looks like it's saturated through at the edges. I 
I would recommend possibly making it like a, a red or brown or a brown or red to make it look like it's kind of stained there for a bit okay. or dried out. That's the thing that's fascinating about blood is that it gets oxidized and begins to turn brown. It's because of all the iron! Ooh. There we go. Then we just apply. We apply some similar smears. I think I want to make more fried rice tonight. So can rice be made at least at some point. I can do a try. Thank you so much. Wait, hold on. I think it's we want down. I double. I double. So like before? No. Double that. Oh, okay. Four cups. Is my pot clean? You'll need a bigger pot than four cups. Okay. Then we want pasta. It's fine. At midnight. We okay. want pasta. Understandable. He's been influencing my autism is really funny and I do not know why. I'm here to do that. That's that's what I do as an influencer. I'm here to influence you. Uh Emma, I'm gonna say, uh, do you want like how to's or do you want like live play podcasts? Do you wanna watch people play or do you wanna learn how to play? Because I'm going to do a hot take and think and say that most of the D and D community is not good. You want to watch people yeah. play right now? Well, uh, if you have other neuro, if you have neurodivergencies where time uh, investment is a factor, uh, may I? I mean, it's short dimension twenty. But if you like us, uh, I highly recommend. Uh, Star Wars The First Resistance, wherever pods, pods are cast. cast. Yeah, you should watch Star Wars The First Resistance. Ooh, you want to watch our D&D podcast so bad. <laughs> I would say, I, I, if you want to learn, like, I, I will, I'm not gonna say that you're wrong, Wandering, for suggesting the Adventure Zone. However, if you want to learn what real D, D is like i do not recommend it for that because not only do they get many of the rules wrong um they uh, it's it's very narrative fo focused first like it's it's basically pure narrative as opposed to something else that's like got more mechanics there are, there are many instances where they stop playing D, &D and they've admitted that yeah there are many instances where they cut the recording talked about what to do and they did it which is not how D&D works. <laughs> I will do that right now, Emmo. I I will I will do it. Luckily, there's a video version of our podcast. So there and it's all in a fancy playlist, too. You don't even have to like Star Wars, I promise. Uh, Star Wars. <laughs> you can, it's just not mandatory. Roll for perception check. It's just a fun song. I like that one, yeah. I like that guy. I like his vibes. I'm sorry, he's a cool guy. Yeah. Where did, uh... It's, he might only be on TikTok, Brick. But the guy who, uh... He's, he's saying, I'm sorry it's been a while, but I'm doing okay. That, he, that kind of blew up. Is he doing all right? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen him. Oh, I don't know. It's been is. a while. I hope he's doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> no worry. Uh, no worries. Wandering. Like I like. I like amnesty and I like balance. I just it 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 really, in terms of showing you what D and D is, that's not what you yeah. show people. It's a great show, but like, 
uh, balance is you know, a bunch of people learning how D&D works and they kind of just go with the flow more than they learn how D&D works. Amnesty isn't even D&D. They played... Monster Hold on. Monster of the Week. And, uh, the season where Travis was the DM, Travis is an awful DM, so... <laughs> I want to learn what not to do. Also, welcome to another episode of, uh, Heaton has to look at some shit for references. Big fan of having to look at, uh, dog bites. That was fun. We love looking at photos of dog bites. That's... I still need to find good references for people missing jaws. Uh, I recommend looking at, uh, looking up practical zombie effects. That's what I do. Because we love tormenting our OCs. Oops, wrong layer. That How come bad. you didn't color in the scar on his neck? I did. Oh, okay. Oh, it's because that wound is fresh. Never mind. Mm -hmm. The I think the DM are... for that one is kind of cringe, so be ready. Justin, you're the DM for that pocket! I, I said what I said. Let the man be cringe. He may be cringe, but he's free. He is cringe. He gave me... He gave me my puppy last week, and then I fucking kicked his ass. That metaphor doesn't really work with, uh... I asked Justin real, real, while we were watching a particular Star Wars show, I'm not gonna say which for spoiler reasons, but we were watching a particular Star Wars show and I grabbed Justin and I shook him violently and I said, I wanna fight them! I wanna fight them so bad, Justin! And Justin kept looking at me and going, no. No, you're not. You can't. We're not doing that. No. And I was like, but, but, but I wanna. But Justin, I wanna! And he kept saying no, and then he did it, because he's a good DM, who, despite all of the jokes I will make at his expense, uh, is a good DM. Save. Export time lapse. Ooh. I really want to do Night at the Vast Pro Shop. What? <laughs> Justin has an idea for, like, because, fun fact about uh, Justin, if you don't know this about him, uh, Justin's, like, favorite movie is Night at the Museum. Mm -hmm. uh, so he wants to do a so he wants to do it the night a night at the museum style one shot that's in the Bass Pro Shop pyramid. Okay. Where like all of the taxidermy <laughs> and stuff comes to life. <laughs> okay. That sounds awesome. I do not think I'll be able to actually play D&D right now due to multiple things, but I at least want to consume content. Fuck yeah! Watch Roll for Sandwich and Roll for Puppet. You a, bi you a big Bass Pro guy, Wall? One of my fucking favorite anecdotes is that my dad uh, hates Bass Pro Shop on principle. Uh, he does, in fact, have a death grudge against them. 
Because you see, my father is a big Cabela's fan, and then Bass Pro Shops bought out Cabela's, and now their products are not nearly as good, and therefore my father hates the Bass Pro Shop. The only way to deal with your crushes is to make fun of them, but that is deeply cringe of you. We're not doing an enemies to lovers thing. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that unless you're really good at writing. I did an enemies to lovers, and we... and Dio... still did yells about them to this day, so I think I'm- I think I'm good. Good job. You did good job, head pet. Because it fucking- I aspire to be good rider like you. Aww, I need you. Well, it was fucking- it was fun. Cause like... The- cause the gradient's easy, right? It's like... Uh... I... It was just a case of like... Finding a reason that you would eventually like this person. So it was just the case that Richter was a constant fucking irritant that Louis was just getting fucking bitter and angry at. And then once his routine was interrupted, he was like, oh, I kind of, I miss the routine that we have. And then something bad happens to him and Louis's like, well, I don't want my routine to get interrupted. That's it. Yeah. And then it just sort of changes from there. I'd probably fold if they were into Legos. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. It's like, yo! Is that the new Hobbit set? <laughs> There's no new Hobbit set. They lost the rights to them. Damn. It's one of the reasons why the Lego game is incomplete. It ends at the second movie. Which is fine with me because the fucking controls suck. <laughs> D who? Oh yeah, who there there is though. I was gonna say that? there's Rivendell, isn't there? Yes, but who fucking thought it ends at the Mirkwood? That's where the second movie ends. It ends at Mirkwood. It's that, that's another thing. Whose fucking idea was it to have a fucking kit game over system for Lego when you run out of hearts? Whose idea was this? But that's that for this for today's stream. Where will I be sending you this morning? Is Susie streaming? Susie is streaming. I'll send you to Susie. Yay! I'm gonna read some more fanfiction and go to sleep. I'm... Goodbye, everybody. So, what's tomorrow's prompt? Oh, tomorrow's prompt is the one I'm gonna have to change! Yay! What's that? Uh, tomorrow's prompt is vomit, but I'm emetophobic, so I can't... Oh. I can't draw somebody puking. So we're going to... Yeah, that's um, right. So I'm going to- I'm gonna change it! I'm gonna do something else! It's a spoiler! Shh, shh, shh. I've had this one planned since I started. So don't worry. Um, I'm gonna get- I'm gonna do some d d clerical stuff and then I'm gonna fucking collapse. I don't know. <laughs> I'll send you I'll over to Susie for now. Later. Goodbye!